Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, we're going to talk about updates and um, kind of give an answer here for um, something that some people have a hard time figuring out why some updates are optional, why some updates are mandatory, and why isn't every update just pushed and that's it. And of course, uh, that could be the thing that you're, you know, wondering why our, each update isn't just there and that, that, that you know, it, we're, we're done, we're over it, and uh, Windows will be up to date. What happens is that uh, for a long time, uh, Windows 10 had, of course, um, the Patch Tuesday security updates and the bug fixing updates later in the month. And that cycle went through for a long time. And both were mandatory. For a long time, you had to install whatever update was showing up in Windows updates. But what happened over time is, of course, Microsoft does, from time to time, mess up something with a Windows update. It can happen. Uh, it happened in January with some specific items. Some people that were using VPNs, for example, might have lost that VPN connectivity. Uh, there were things on the server side also which um, broke when Microsoft fixed something else. So Windows updates are sometimes, you know, I would say the majority of times they're okay, but there are times when they can break something, and that's the, the, the game here. Uh, they fix something and don't realize that it's actually creating a problem somewhere else. Um, so what happened at some point is one of the most requested things in Windows Update from users was, can we have optional updates for the bug fixes? You know, if I don't want to install it, can I just forget about it? So Microsoft came to a point where they said, okay, we're going to put the security updates mandatory, which is fine because you want to be secure and security, you know, goes with what you do with your computer, but also the updates to fix all the security flaws. And so that is okay. But they came to a point where they, you know, they thought, okay, well, what about the bug fixing updates? If you have no problems, don't install them. If you have problems, this might fix your problem. And they put it optional for that reason, because of the risk of breaking something. Well, if everything's fine on your PC, they kind of, you know, just let go and it's like, okay, it's fine. Don't You don't have to install this. If all works well for you, um, you don't need to install it. So the idea came from a lot of pressure from the users. A lot of users, you know, pressured Microsoft into doing this, and they decided at some point that okay, okay, let's do that like that. Now that said, it's a bit of an illusion uh, of the update being optional, and uh, in Windows 11 also, which works the same way. You have your Windows updates that are mandatory for security. And you have optional updates of all sorts that pop up. Now, cumulative updates work in a very specific way. When you install a cumulative update, what happens is the computer will check what updates are on your PC already. Because a cumulative update that, for example, would appear today, to install it, it requires to have the ones that you had to install last week or the week before, whatever was the update. So you can't jump over an update and install other updates. It has to follow a sequence in order to install. <clears throat> so an update today would not be able to install if you have not installed the bug fixing updates of last week. It doesn't work like that. They're not independent and you can jump over them. That's why Windows version numbers will follow each other for pretty much everybody. At some point, your Windows version is the same for everyone. So when you look at the Winver for Windows 10 or Windows 11, you have an ending of build numbers. 
Now, this is an insider build, so it has a different number, but everybody will have the same number at some point on a regular version of Windows. Now, why is that since these are optional updates? Because the past Tuesday updates are mandatory. They check what you have and you're missing the bug fixing updates, which means if you haven't installed the bug fixing updates, when Patch Tuesday arrives, they will install the bug fixing updates as well as the Patch Tuesday updates. So in my case, um, what I do is I install the bug fixes because, first of all, I have a YouTube channel talking about updates. It's kind of normal that I install it and um, you know tell you about it. And at the same time, if a major problem would arrive from an update, well, you guys watching this channel will be alerted and you'll be able to, you know, delay the update, for example, because you'll see that I'm ranting an update that doesn't work well. So that's one thing. And the other thing is I, for one, always install everything that I see in Windows updates that come through. Anyways, when you get on Patch Tuesday, if you haven't installed it, it will install anyways. And the thing is, is your Patch Tuesday updates will take a lot longer because you didn't install the bug fixes. So the bug fixes will apply themselves with the Patch Tuesday, which makes a much bigger update at the same time. So it's kind of an illusion that you are optional because they will be installed anyways when you get the security updates. But at the time of the bug fixing updates being released, and they were released last week, it gives you that little week or two before the um, Patch Tuesday updates that you don't have to install if something is a problem. But eventually it all installs. And that can create a problem, because if a bug fixing update creates a problem with you, the fact that Patch Tuesday updates will want to install it, well, that problem might come back on Patch Tuesday. It's not impossible. So the only way now to really avoid this is to delay all updates together. So it's it's kind of a you know a fake optional, if you want. It's optional at the moment, but it will install a couple of weeks later. So uh, you know, um, what can we do about it? Does that mean we should, you know, force the uh, bug fixes also so that it's done and over with? Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I have rarely have problems with Windows updates, almost never. Um, so, you know, uh, personally, I have no problem with that. But at the same time, you know, there's a certain control and you have a certain test phase where you don't have to update it if you don't want if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.